So today I'm privileged to talk to two of our alumni, Laura Wiesma, who graduated in 2018 and is now the marketing manager at the Four Seasons Hotel Sydney. Welcome, Laura. Thank you. And Benjamin Salter, who graduated in 1995, who is now the director of distribution systems at Accor. And um, welcome back to the school, Benjamin. Thanks very much, Simon. Great to be here. So over the past 30 years, Blue Mountains International Hotel Management School has graduated over 7,000 students who have now become alumni. But what I want to hear from both of you is why do you believe these graduates have become so desirable to the hotel industry? Working for Accor, I'm never surprised at the number of graduates that I run into. And I have no idea quite often that they're graduates, but then you know they'll li they'll link me on LinkedIn and I will see that they're a fellow graduate. Um, and we look at you know there are leaders of, of my chain of the other chains that have that have all come through as graduates of Blue Mountain. So there's that 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 30 year history that you talked about that's certainly persisting. And we know as employers that we're going to get consistent good applicants from Blue Mountains International Hotel Management School. Laura, a couple of months ago you came back to Blue Mountains International Hotel Management School as a guest for our Leadership Speaker series and we were speaking about the next generation of hotel leaders and I'm very interested to hear from both of you what you believe are some of the biggest differences you see emerging from the next generation of hotel leaders. And, and Laura, I know this is going to still be fresh in your mind, so, so please feel free to share. For sure. I think um, with my generation now coming through, we kind of were brought up with the digital age mindset. So implementing technology into the hospitality industry and taking that on, um, it, it's a fresh new perspective um, and a different kind of management style. And of course, incorporating both management styles, it's just, um, I think we're both learning from different generations in, in the leadership currently. I want to change the, the topic slightly and, and talk about the global pandemic because I know we have a lot of viewers today who are who, who might be questioning why would we enter tourism and hospitality for or choose hospita tourism hospitality at this point in time um, for a career given everything that's happened to the industry um, as an outcome of of the pandemic now I know industry sees this very differently so as I said our viewers are very keen to hear your thoughts around um, industry recovery and careers within hospitality. Definitely. I think once we get past, especially in Australia, I, I know globally is a whole nother topic in itself, um, but especially in Australia, once we get past this hurdle, it was evident that there is going to be a labor shortage. We experienced that through the boost that we had from the beginning of this year in quarter two. And now obviously with this lockdown, we've experienced it a bit again, but we are so ready to come back. And if you ask anyone, what is the first thing you want to do after this? It's travel. Viewers today shouldn't be concerned because from all aspects, what we're hearing um, is the industry is going to come back stronger than ever. And certainly from the employment perspective, there are going to be plenty of opportunities at all levels um, within hotels. Ben, what are your thoughts around this? Well, we've already seen the recoveries happen when we had that brief respite when the country was completely open. We saw bookings across the country in our regional destinations, leisure destinations, at levels that we had not seen before. They, it was extraordinary. Uh, so it will bounce. We just have to get through the next couple of months until we get the vaccine rates up. And then when, the, when, the, when businesses start looking at vaccine passports, the vaccine corridors between countries, uh, between regions, and maybe even within Australia, between the states, that's when we'll see the recovery absolutely skyrocket. Laura's very right. We are looking at an extreme skills shortage. Um, and it's not just at the, um, at the cold face, you know, waiter and reception levels. It's at all levels. Um, I just looked on our website. We're currently recruiting for over for 200 people um, across Australia, which is 
which half the country is in lockdown and we're still recruiting for 200 people. Uh, so there is, there is an absolute need that once we do reopen that we will have so many jobs available for industry graduates. And then the challenge is going to be for us, the employers, to find the good ones um, and, and be able to pick, cherry pick the, you know, the, the great graduates that we want from, from Hope's Health Schools in particular. Let me ask you, what advice would you give to our viewers today who are considering a career in hotel management? So let's say two or three pieces of advice. So what are the next steps? What, what would you like to tell them? Laura. Dive into any opportunity. Um, I think just having the eagerness to learn, um, being flexible as Ben said, and as well as just, yeah, searching for opportunity, being eager and being adaptable. Be ready to learn. Thanks, Laura. And, and Ben, your advice for our viewers today? Uh, look at every opportunity that's given to, given to you and, and try it. Uh, don't think that every career move you make will be the right one. I've made some bad choices in my career. But have the knowledge to recognise when you've made a bad choice and you need to go and change something, um, you know, change roles. Uh, so I've, I've done that a couple of times. Uh, and do find something that you, in, that you really enjoy doing. Uh, because then if you enjoy it, it's not really a job. Look, thank you so much for that, that reassurance. And I think, you know, um, there is a very strong message for all of our viewers today that they needn't be too concerned around choosing hospitality and tourism, specifically hotel management as a career choice. Because certainly, as we move into 2022 and beyond, the industry is going to bounce back stronger than it ever was. And from a employment perspective, there are going to be jobs not only in Australia, but right the way around the world. And I would like to sincerely thank you for coming back to Blue Mountains International Hotel Management School today and sharing your wisdom, your expertise with our viewers. And certainly on behalf of the school, we wish you every success for your continued future. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you very much, Simon. Great to see you.